Assalamu alaikum boys and girls Assalamu alaikum moms and dads Assalamu alaikum friends at home It's you and you and you It's time for the Wonder Time Show Hey hey it's time for the Wonder Time Show Hey hey Assalamu alaikum, Miss Nazira. Assalamu alaikum to myself. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Let's start the Wonder Time Show. Hey, hey, let's start the Wonder Time Show. Hey, hey. All right, let's go. Audhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I begin in the name of Allah, the Most Kind, the Most Merciful. Assalamu alaikum, boys and girls. It's me, Miss Nazira. And as you noticed, unfortunately, it looks like our friend Amir is not quite here yet. Inshallah, hopefully he'll get here wait, soon. Wait, 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 Mrs. Jira, Mrs. Oh, Jira. there oh, he is. Oh, Mrs. Jira. sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. Welcome, Amir. Oh, salamu alaikum. How's it going? Good at home. Oh we just yeah, started. Uh, oh, you did? Okay. Okay, I hope I caught, I caught you guys oh. right, starting right at the beginning. Sorry, Mrs. Jira, for running late. It's okay, Amir. Yeah. How are you doing? Everything okay? It's okay. I, I was taking my trying to take my bike today. Uh -huh. I'm right over here, but uh, I, I couldn't figure it out. I, I didn't know the directions, and I tried to use this map here that you can see, but uh -huh. it didn't really work out. And then and then oh. I stopped, and I, and I asked somebody, I said, um, do, do you know the way? Can you tell me how to get, how to get to, how to get to Wonder Time Street? I, I asked him, but he said, he said, sunny days, and I, I didn't understand <laughs> what that meant. So, so he didn't really help, but Alhamdulillah, I got here. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, we're so glad you're here, Amir. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, thanks, um, thanks Aww. for waiting, guys. So, Amir, I hear what you're saying. You said you said you had your your map, but you still didn't have your directions. Like you didn't know how to get here exactly. Yeah, yeah, I didn't mm. really figure out. Couldn't really figure out which way to go. I mean, I had like a green, a blue marker and a red marker, and I put it on this map, but I couldn't really figure it out. Oh, I see what you're saying. Friends, have you ever been lost before? Mm hmm. Amir. Uh huh. You know what? I think we should turn to the Quran and see what the Quran can give us in terms of tips on how to find direction. Oh, yeah, I would love to. Wait, the Quran that talks about that? Hmm, in a way, you'll see. Alhamdulillah, cool. I'd love to learn. Now, before we get to all of that, friends, inshallah, let's go over what our program is for today. First things first, we will be using the handy dandy Shah Ramadan project booklet. All which right. is full of all kinds of goodies. We have pictures to color in. We have the projects to work on. So if you haven't already gotten your hands on a copy, please go ahead and do so from kissakids.org or you can order a copy on amazon.com. Today, inshallah, what we're going to be doing is first, we're going to have our box of light oh, where we're going to work together. The box of light. Mm. Oh, the box of wonder. Oh, <laughs> oh. no, it's okay, it's okay. Box of light, box of wonder. People like it. <laughs> the box of wonder, where we're gonna work together to uncover our eye of the day. Next, we have our verses of light. Oh, okay. maybe also verses of wonder, <laughs> which, inshallah, we then can memorize our ayah of the day using hand gestures. Cool. After that, we're gonna hear some from some young scholars followed by a demonstration. A Ooh. cool experiment for us all to do together. A demonstration. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sound fun? You ready? I think so. You ready, friends? All right, let's get it out. Let's go. Okay, time for the... Box of Wonder. Yes, indeed. Whoa! Whoa, subhanAllah. Alhamdulillah. Today, friends, we have four clues, so I'm going to need your help. Four. Remember, this is going to be challenging. To put on your thinking cap. 
close up for the challenge. Take out your magnifying lens and take a close look at these clues to yeah. help us uncover okay. our eye of the day. Ready? Here we go. First things first. Okay, let's check it out. What's this? Oh, what is that? Friends at home, why don't you tell me? What do we have here? It goes like this. It goes like that? Uh-huh, that's right. You must have gotten it. Amir, what is it? It's a, some kind of wheel? Yeah, it's a steering wheel. Oh, a steering wheel. All right, that's our first clue. So a steering wheel. Let's think about a steering wheel, friends. Steering wheels go on a car, right? But oh, what does it yeah. do for the car? Amir, what does it do? Well, it, it turns the front wheels. It turns the car. So maybe our first word is turn. Turn. Very good. Next clue, clue number two is? Dos. Do. Si. <laughs> Wait. What do you see here? Amir, what do you see? I, I see myself? Mrs. That's Yira. right. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> so the second clue is a picture, right? And it's a picture of Amir's face. Where did you get that from, Mrs. Nazira? In particular. Oh, I had this one from last year. Oh. I've been holding wait. on to it. Hey, have you been taking like pictures of me when I wasn't looking? <laughs> so we have turn and then we have Amir's face. Amir's face. Wait, but turn my turn my, you want me to turn my face? Maybe. But, but it's I, not I can, Amir's it's really face. It's just it. face. That's our second word or our second clue, right? Turn, really turn and it. face. <laughs> Which way do I turn it? Okay. Third clue. Okay, third. What is this, friends? We've seen this one before. Oh, it's an It's an arrow. An arrow. And an arrow points also us Also known in, as an upvote. <laughs> okay. This is an arrow. And what does an arrow do? Um... It tells you a, like a direction. Good, Amir, excellent, ding, ding, ding. So we have turn, face, and direction. And the last word, friends, or the last clue, really, is this right here. Oh, whoa, that's, Who knows what this is? That, 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 I, I think I know, I think I know. What is it, Amir, go know. ahead. You guys know. It looks like the Holy Kaaba. Good. Yeah, me and you have been there before. Remember when we were traveling? Mm-hmm, yeah, that was right. All right, friends, have you ever seen the Kaaba before? I'm sure you must have at least seen pictures, right? The Holy Kaaba. Okay, so our clue number four is the Holy Kaaba or something related to the Holy Kaaba, right? So let's put it all together. We have turn, face, direction, and the Holy Kaaba. Hmm. What do you think, friends? Shall I read the ayah for you? Yeah, I think we're ready. Are some of, have some of you guessed what it is? Do you know it? Do you know what it's about? Okay. So, the ayah of the day comes from Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 149. And the verse says, wajhaka shatra al-masjid al-haram, which means, so turn okay. your face, my face, in the direction towards of Masjid Al Haram. Oh, turn my face towards the Masjid Al Haram. Yes. So boys and girls, the Kaaba is in Masjid Al Haram in Mecca, right? So that's what our ayah of the day was. Whoa. How many of you were able to get that? Alhamdulillah. Nice. So Amir and yes. friends at home. Let's try and memorize that ayah before we dig a little deeper and try and figure out what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us in this, in this ayah and what's the lesson for us to take from it. Shall we welcome Brother Ashfaq with a salawat? Let's do it. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum. Fawalli wajhaka شطر المسجد الحرام فولي وجهك شطر المسجد الحرام فولي وجهك شطر المسجد الحرام So turn your face in the direction of Masjid al-Haram
Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, we got to memorize that one, Mrs. Zira. Mm-hmm. I hope you all practice that one at home. But which way do I so, look, though? Do I look, do I look that way? Oh, like, direction's which, important, Amir, even yeah, when you're like, doing which, the, which this camera. Yeah, which camera are we right supposed here. to be looking at? Because because there's this one, and that's a pretty good camera. I really like that one. But but then there's that one, that way. Like, I don't know, I don't know which direction to look. Which mm. direction do I face? So, in this case, Amir, we're facing this way. That way? Mm-hmm. Okay. Straight ahead. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Are Eyes you demonstrating ahead. the importance of direction to everyone? Well, I mean, I, I couldn't really figure it out, but alhamdulillah, it sort of turned out that way. Mm-hmm. All right, friends. Well, through this ayah, we've, you know, Allah very clearly is telling us that we should face our direction towards the Holy Kaaba. Why is the Holy Kaaba important? Do you know how to find Qibla? Well, I asked these questions of some young scholar friends, and I'd love to hear what they have to say. Why don't we invite them together yeah, with please. the salawat? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum. Wait, but this way, or is it still, <laughs> it's still that way? I don't understand. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, Ms. Nazira and Amir uh, and everyone else. I'm Azra. I'm Sakina. And I'm Shabar. And we live in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The Kaaba is important because it is the house of Allah and Imam Ali was born in it. All Muslims all around the world come on Hajj and Umrah to have to seven laps among the Kaaba. Allah, Almighty Allah, ordered Prophet Ibrahim to construct the Kaaba in Mecca, and now all the Muslims around the world pray five times a day facing towards the Holy Kaaba in Mecca. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to find the Qibla. So first you open the Al Qibla app on your phone, then you click the compass, and then it's telling me that the Qibla is this way. So then I, so then I take the jamas, and then I set it up. Up, up, and this is and I have to set it up to the towards the Qibla. So then now you do your jamas. Playing towards the Qibla is important because while Prophet Muhammad was playing in Majid the Qibla then, Almighty Allah sent Angel Jibreel down to earth to tell Prophet Muhammad to face the Kaaba as your new Qibla. And now all Muslims around the world face towards the Kaaba and Mecca while they're praying as their Qibla no matter where they live. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Young scholars, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for teaching us all Amir, about that stuff. did you learn a lot? I did, and I, I feel like I want to just practice right now and, and figure out which way the Qibla is. MashaAllah. So we learned that the Holy Kaaba is very important. We pray towards it five times a day. We learned that the Qibla tells us the direction of the Holy Kaaba, so we know which direction to pray in, right? Right. Now, friends, I'd like to dig a little deeper into this idea of direction. Let's dig, dig, dig! You see, in life, it's very important that we have directions for anything that we do. If we're doing our homework, it's important that we have the directions on how to complete our homework, right? Yeah, yeah, but like when the directions are not clear, I feel like I have to ask a million questions to figure it out. Right. Or like in the case of Amir, when you're trying to find your way to Wonder Time Street, <laughs> Today, uh -huh. you, you needed clear directions on how to get here. Otherwise, yeah. you could have lost your way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Otherwise, you start hearing about sunny days and it's cloudy outside. Right. See, friends, having a direction in life helps you have a purpose in life. It helps you get to your goal, right? And Allah SWT has created us this way, where we need direction in all of the things that we do. And He's taught us that through this ayah, our direction in prayer is really important that it's towards the Holy Kaaba. Yeah, you know, I, I was trying to figure out, is there anything in our life that, that we don't need directions for? And I can't think of a single thing. Right, we need directions in everything in life. And that's why Allah sent us the Holy Quran and the Ahlul Bayt. These two 
together are our directions in life. When we have these two, we know how to do everything in life from how to treat our family, on how to, you know, eat our food, on how to worship Allah. All of these things are give us direction in life. So yeah, yeah, I feel like I've, we've got all the answers that way. Exactly. So I have something that I created here, Amir, that I'd love to share with you all, friends. You know when we're praying at home, Amir, uh -huh. or when we're praying in the masjid? And it feels like we're all praying in long, straight lines next to each other, right? Yeah. And we are, in fact, right? We pray next to each other, one person next to the other, next to the other, next to the other. Right, shoulder to shoulder. These days, six feet apart. <laughs> That's right. But did you know that actually, if you were to zoom out really, really big, you would see that we're all actually play, praying in circles oh. around the Kaaba. Wait, what? How? Seriously, that's right. So I made something here, a little model for you. Oh, I hope this will help. Well, for those of you who have ever been to Masjid al-Haram in Mecca, you will see that you have the Kaaba, and I've created this little cube here to represent the Kaaba, in the middle, right? Okay. And then all around, you have rows and rows of people who are doing tawaf. And then when it's time to pray, all of the people, and I, I hope you can see that I've drawn little people on here. Right. <laughs> all of the people will stop where they are, and all of them facing towards the Kaaba, and you can see all of the heads are facing towards the Kaaba, and they pray. Now, if you were to extrapolate this, these circles would keep on going and going and going and going all around the globe. So even when we're praying in our homes, it might feel like we're praying alone, or even if we're praying in the masjid, that feels like we're praying in a straight line. Really, we're all praying in circles together towards the Holy Kaaba. But I guess I don't understand because it feels like we're praying in all together in a straight direction, but everybody here is praying like in a curve. Exactly. That's just because when you're there and you're in Masjid al-Haram, you can see that actually the real thing, we're not praying just in one direction. It just depends where you are in the world. So if I'm over here on this side of, if we were to look over here, let's say I'm over here on this side of the world, I'm praying this way and it feels like a straight line, but really I'm praying this way. And if I'm over here on this side of the world, right? Yeah. I'm praying this way, oh. maybe it feels like a straight oh. line. But again, these circles just keep on going out and out and out. And then we have the Kaaba in the middle. Whoa, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. So really we're all together. What do you think, Amir? Unity. Here's the fee. <laughs> that we are. Oh, inshallah. Maybe during Muharram I can recite that. Inshallah. All right, friends. So, I'm going to put this away. I'm going to pull something else out. Okay. I'm going to pull out our... Oh, the book! Ramadan Project Booklet. Yes! Friends, go ahead and ask your parents to get it out for you. Maybe print it out for you, inshallah. You're going to turn to the page that looks like... So, where you have a picture of the Kaaba again, and you see an arrow with the word Qibla. So this handy dandy little craft is a very practical one. You're gonna cut it out, you're gonna color it, you're gonna cut, you know, you cut on the dotted lines, right. you're gonna color it however you like in your favorite colors. Yeah, careful with the scissors. Mm-hmm. And then you're gonna create a little sign for yourself. Oh. With a Qibla sign so that you can put it up in your house somewhere like, you know, maybe on the ceiling or maybe, you know, somewhere on the walls to point in the direction of the Qibla in your home. So oh. that anyone who comes to your house will know which direction the Qibla is in. Oh, to remind us. Yes, to remind us that we're always facing the Holy Kaaba when we're praying, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, well, I hope you learned a lot, friends. We learned about the importance of the Holy Kaaba and the Qibla. We also learned the idea of generally, it's important for us to have a direction in life and our directions in life come from the Holy Quran and the Ahlul Bayt, right? For sure. Before we go though, let's remember to recite Surah Fatiha for all of the Marhumin and especially the Marhumin of today's sponsors. Alhamdulillah, thanks for your support. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim.
Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Now, before we go, friends, I have a surprise for Amir. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. You do? Yes, Whoa, I that's know such a huge how surprise. much. Yes, I know how much you have been interested in trying to find the qibla on your own and practicing. Yeah, I've been I've been wanting to go in like different places. Like if we go out to the park, I want to find the qibla there, mm-hmm. or, or like to the store. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah, and I also know that it's helpful to have a compass if you're lost, like you were today. So that you know the direction that you're going yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, that would have been super helpful. So I have for you a teeny tiny, just the right size for Amir compass. Well, thank you. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Can you put that in my hand? Yeah, there you go, my friend. Alhamdulillah. Now you can find the fiddle all on your own. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I'm going to go around and, and check it out. Hey, boys and girls out there. Maybe you can practice finding the qibla too. Yes, friends, ask your parents for help, and maybe you can learn to use a compass to find qibla too. You know Inshallah. what? There's probably other ways too. Maybe like based on the sun, mm-hmm. or like an astrolab, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are other ways too. <laughs> so, friends, that's all from us here today. I hope you think really hard about the lesson that we learned today. As always, put it into practice with your hands, and maybe with the compass. <laughs> yeah, like like my hand. And remember, most important of all is to keep the lessons really safe in your heart. Inshallah. Inshallah. Lock it away. Okay, friends. That's all. But we will be back again tomorrow. Alhamdulillah. I can't wait to see you. Take good care of yourself. Iltimas dua. And we will see you tomorrow. Inshallah. Inshallah. Fiyaman Allah, everybody. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Fiyaman Allah. Give that a try. <laughs> you ready? Which way do I go? Let's take a look. Which way is the qibla in here? Well, the qibla is like that way, but the way to go home and, and, and like leave the set is that way. So I want to go that way. <laughs> Bye, Amir. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum.